Notre Dame has its 21st commitment. Greer, South Carolina defensive back Troy Pride picked the Irish over Virginia Tech, South Carolina, North Carolina State, and others. We had a chance to see Pride a few times this year, first at the Rivals Camp Series event in Atlanta where he went out and competed with some of the top talent in the region. Had a chance to show off his speed there, and uh, you know he's a, he's a very competitive guy. I really liked uh, his attitude and the way he got after it with some of these guys that were uh, you know, more sought after than him, at least at the time. And then we spent the whole week with him at the Shrine Bowl. You're talking about a guy who's long, physical, and I really liked his ability to kind of read the receivers. He was great at predicting uh, where the players were going to be and kind of guessing routes and then more importantly, uh, making a play on the ball. He is very fast. I mean, I, you know, I really like his closing speed. Only thing is sometimes he uh, trusts that speed a little too much, allows guys to get by him uh, and then tries to make up late and he could do that a lot of times but at the next level that is obviously going to be tougher so probably a guy with a lot of skills size speed and, and of course the length that uh, defensive back coaches are really looking for right now there's not a cornerback in the country whose stock might have risen as much as Troy Pride the past few months. Notre Dame offered him back in June, but it was really when the staff went and saw him the night before the Clemson game that they kind of fell in love with him as a prospect. Um, you know, he joins Dante Vaughn and Julian Love as cornerback commits in the class. Love is probably more of a nickel. Uh, Vaughn is a guy who could eventually slide over to safety, but when you get Pride, he's a pure uh, cover cornerback, and that's really what Notre Dame needs. I mean, look at their schedule. They're always going up against USC, who has task fa who has fast talented wide receivers and prides a guy who you can maybe leave out on the island one day and rely on him to uh, you know, make plays. Uh, what Notre Dame also liked about him is when you talk with Pride, he just seems like one of those Notre Dame fits, as cliche as it sounds. You know, he's a, he's a different type of kid, and he's looking for the right things, and I think he's getting the total package at Notre Dame. And that's one of the reasons why um, you know, the Irish will be able to fend off some late charges there from Clemson, North Carolina State, North Carolina, and more of the regional schools. So a uh, good job for Notre Dame to go into South Carolina for the first time in a while and picking up a cornerback prospect that they're very excited about and one who uh, could have an impact somewhere down the line.